biggest challenges of a, as a chat moderator is making sure that people know about your chat. Understand when we started Brain Chat five and a half years ago, it was three of us, just three people chatting, wondering if anybody was going to ever join us Wednesday after Wednesday. Um, then when one of us was missing, it was really kind of sad. <laughs> there was just a couple of us, but we kept going. Um, this is really a true testament to the marketing lesson that it's about consistent, persistent action. It's not this humongous, amazing, shiny silver bullet that's the key to marketing. Brand chat grew and is as viable and exciting as it is today and well attended as it is today because we persistently and consistently met every Wednesday at 10 a.m. no matter what. You can see here at the NERF channel one of the things that NERF does to help promote your chat is they do have a list of chats and when you click on there it shows you the recent ones, the upcoming ones, and the popular ones. Now this is really cool because it shows recent chat so that way if somebody is new and they've heard about brand chat or your chat and they don't know whether or not that would be a chat that they want to participate in they can click here take a look at the chat and kind of see the cadence and the tone and see if it's a subject matter or it seems like a good chat that they should participate in so this gives them a little sneak peek into a past chat and they can see it happening in real time which is very cool because then it gives them an idea of what they'll be walking into whenever they first attend your chat should they do that. It also lets you know what the upcoming chats are. So here it is, here NERF is promoting our upcoming chat. And then also what the popular chats are. So if you've got a chat that's really heavily engaged, you know, and, and nobody may know about it, but if you look here, you can see some of the replays of print chat and think, maybe I should attend and take a look at that. Well, there's other people who are doing that too. NERF is very active in promoting the NERF channels and NERF as a platform itself. And that collaborative promotion uh, that they provide, that NERF provides, and that you can also do on your own will help only grow your chat more. Now, another way to help promote your chat too is to do uh, chat transcripts. Now, I love NERF's instant replay, and it is instant. I mean, minutes after a chat is done, you're going to get an instant replay, and I'll show you an instant replay so that you can see what it looks like. It is really just the chat happening in real time, or if you want to speed it up, it can happen just a whole lot faster. So there's the replay function here, chat, and if we were in the brand chat channel, We would even see more that people don't see just when they come in through the front of the NERF platform, but they can look at past chats and they can see all these statistics. But I've always believed, uh, and I know many people teach this, is that the less we let people click, the better, because the more they have to click around, the more chance that we have to lose them. If they're looking for something and they want to find your chat or you want to be found by them, you want to make it easy for them to inevitably get to your chat. One of the ways I do that is I'll go ahead and utilize, I mean, the, my blog. And what I do with my blog is I will bring in a chat notes page. So I actually have chat notes that I've put together. You can see this here. You can see if we even toggle down, here's some chat notes. Okay, so you can take a look at the chat notes, and what it does is basically gives a quick introduction, what the four questions were that we discussed, and then here is where I actually put links to the participants and replays. So when you click on participants, it'll open up that window that I showed you of the NERF channel that you can get to from that particular chat channel, so the nerf.com slash brand chat, since that's the name of the chat that I host and created. And you can get there and you can see who the participants are, you can see what the questions were, who the most influential participants are, who contributed most, who was mentioned most, and what tweets were the most retweeted. So you get all of those stats. Plus, if I wanted to see the replay, I can just click here and see the replay and I'm launched right into the replay screen. Again, I make it easy for people who are considering coming to the chat to first of all find information about the chat click to the participants, the statistics of the chat, and then it's one click to the replay of the chat. That is one way that really helps you promote your chat, and I love that the NERF 
platform takes care of these logistic sides for me because this is valuable information that I would have to and have had in the past used several virtual assistants, several different types of tools and piecemeal together the statistics of this chat. Or I've used tools that are fairly expensive and if you're not looking to or you're wanting to, I shouldn't say not looking to spend because I do encourage you to invest in your chat, but if you're a bootstrapper like I am, then you're going to want to do it as smartly as possible, especially when you're beginning. And I love that NERF has put this all together. Now, one thing also as a chat moderator that you do need to be aware of is that NERF focuses on making sure that um, it keeps out bots and spammy type of accounts from chatting during our chat. And I'll show you that in our next video of some of the things that it does and some of the things you can do to make sure that your chat is exciting and engaging, but not something that's tedious for people because they're having to deal with all these bots and all these spammy people trying to sell things just because they see it's a trending topic and they see everybody involved in the chat. So that will be our next video.